Elizabeth isn't teaching from the front of the room. We're working in our books independently. That's one of the biggest ones. And last year we would all work normally at the same pace and some of us would get stuck just because we know those answers. But now, because we're all moving at our own level and kind of going at our own pace, we are each growing at different um, paces basically. So we are kind of uh, more comfortable. It's diff very different. Like, yeah. so last year <clears throat> we, were, we just had to follow along. Mm -hmm. we, got assigned homework and we but this year um this year we like we do have freedom and like we have freedom to go at our normal speed of math and like during our times we get tr like we have trouble or problems she comes one of our one of our math teachers comes and help us and we got to choose our homework problems but it it had to be at least 20 minutes. You can move at your own pace and you can do what you want to do. So you can, I think you earn more. Go, like you're allowed to go to where you think your comfort zone is and what you think, but not like super easy stuff. Not like just like plus and minus, but do what's in the book and stuff that you have a list that she gives you on Google Docs. And well, I would like go into a next unit if I felt ready and then try out some of the problems and if I didn't feel good I'd go back to something a little easier or I'd go on to Khan Academy and try and learn what the skill. Yeah and you also know when you're like oh I got this so you go and take a, an assessment and when you take all of the assessments you go into the unit test which ends you in the book. Uh, she gives us tests when you're done with the book, when you say, hey, Elizabeth, I think I'm ready to move on from this book. We're just going to a test. And that's when she says, okay, here's a test. And then if you get it right, and she's like, okay, move on to the next book. And if you get it wrong, well, she's like, well, let's just recap and all this stuff. Well, I would, like, go into a next unit if I felt ready and then try out some of the problems and if I didn't feel good I'd go back to something a little easier or I'd go on to Khan Academy and try and learn what the skill and now it's easier because then I know what I need to learn instead of the teacher thinking what the whole class needs to learn and maybe like if a teacher is just telling the whole class what they should learn Maybe someone already knows that, and it's not helping them as much as they, it could. So having more freedom let me learn percents easier. It's called Khan Academy. Yeah, it's, it's a website, and you sign in, and um, so you the teacher knows everything that you're doing, like on there, so they can see what how much time you've had on there. And there's a ton of different things to help you, and it's in grade level based, so um, it's really easy to find what you need to do. Yeah, the last year um, she would assign us homework, and if I didn't know the homework, I couldn't do the homework. <clears throat> I'd have to like ask my parents, but now I can just like. Like, like open up my book and see what it's I'm like comfortable with. Homework. Yeah. Another challenge I've had is being accurate on the tests because I just go, oh, it's easy. It's just problems I've been doing for this whole time, and I quickly do them, and then I don't go over and check over my work very closely. But I think at the end of the unit test, I checked over my work very closely. Um, and I'm doing a lot better than last year because last year, um, on we had facts that we do every morning. And um, last year I only stayed on like the second, I got to like the second one, but this year I got through every single one in like 100% in like, like three weeks to a month. I think it helps me learn better because last year I wasn't doing so well on math, but now I'm doing a lot better. I think it's really nice to have like you be able to just do what you like to do in math and then it's more kind of fun.